We play and call it work. Left adrift within the far reaches of the outer rim, it was fate which destined him to his renowned stature. For though he'd single-handedly conquer and deepen his legacy, it was accomplished by the death and turmoil of his brethren that not a single brother would live more than a subtle breath within his presence. Full battalions fell prey to this fate, that his vessel would often be the only entity to leave the brimstone-soaked planet once he made landfall with his contingent. A warrior of the old ways, rumors spread of the Lord who would accomplish any mission, yet would always be the lone survivor, no matter how massive his force. Death graced his side, yet never rang his bell. Come Omnius, champion of oblivion. Mini Wargamer Dave here from MiniWargamer.com, here with Mini Wargamer Josh. Waiting for it. Welcome, Wargamers, to the Ascension of Madness narrative side-scroller campaign. In this particular mission, you're going to see the Black Legion. You're going to see Omnius, the champion of Oblivion. You've seen this short story time to give you a little bit of background lore as to where he came from and why he's doing what he's doing. Now, in this mission, he's got a lot of guys, and he's on his way to his path to glory. Mm -hmm. So he's going to be infusing his whole level with a lot of obstacles, in the form of bodies, in the form of mutations. Are you scared? I'm pretty scared. Really? Yeah, it's, it's gonna be tough. I think if you survive with one guy at the end... Then that, you feel like you've done your job? Uh, yeah, that's right, okay. yeah. Any more than that, then it's not, it's not actually a victory. Yeah, we'll go with that. And as always, this is being done in pairs, and so if you wanna watch the second mission, after you're done watching this one, click on the link below to see the Vault mission where something very special will happen. Not going to give it away right now because at the end of this mission, you'll see if it may or may not happen. It all depends on the dice. Primary objective in this mission is for Josh to kill Omnius, the champion of Oblivion. If he does so, then he will gain D3 upgrade points that he can spend on his unit. Rocky barricades. In this mission, there will be barricades and they will be rocks. Treat them like rhinos. It's going to be armor 11, three hull points. And if he should explode them, then there will be some debris. Meaning, when they are destroyed, they always have the explode result. So that will be very good for me, not so much for Josh. Secondary objectives are these eternal flames of chaos. In order for Omnius to appear, all of these flames need to be snuffed out. Here's the catch. You do it on a 2+. plus. If you roll a 1, the flame is not snuffed out, and demons are summoned. Path to glory! Every time a rocky barricade is destroyed, we're going to roll on the path to glory chart. And on the other side of the rocky debris, a unit will appear. It'll be a Black Legion unit, and it will be a strong one, hopefully. We're going to disregard the hero and vehicle follower tables. We're only going to do the retinue follower tables. And last but not least, kill at all costs. As a custom rule for this mission, the Black Legion units are able to fire into combat. Ooh, it's going to be awesome. Here's the catch. On a four up, they hit the enemy. On a one, two, or three, they hit themselves. They will be rolling for every round. And the reason why this is able to occur is because there will already be a unit on the level that you appear. And when you destroy a barricade, one appears behind them. So you got two units, basically, that you gotta mow through and kill. So the chances of this happening are pretty high. This is your starting position, Josh. Where do you wanna go? Up the ladder we go. You see on the platform, there's a rocky barricade. And now, 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 what are we going to do? Let's uh, go for some psychic powers. Okay. Warp charge. Four plus three is seven. 
Five dice in the blood lance. Oh, you got it. Six is to deny this. Nope. And I guess I do have two more dice. I'm going to use those as well. Fail. Levetto, do you do it? Do it. Blast through that rock. On a three. That's a pen. Adding two to the result here. Okay, so that's a whole point. Schusting fechs. Arcavius will shoot his infernal pistol. Hitting on a two. That's a hit. And on a three. You glance. With two dice, because it's melted. That's a pen. Adding two to the result on the pen chart, and that is an explode. How far? Three inches. Now to wound you from the explosion. One wound. Three up save on Arcavius. That's a wound. Feel no pain, four plus. That's a save. As the dust settles, you notice that there is a Havoc squad with heavy bolters that were on the other side of the barricade. In addition to this, we're going to roll on Path to Glory to see what appears behind them. Here's the chart. We're going to roll on it. We're going to use the black die as the 10s and the white die as the 1s. What do we got? What do we got? 46! Three Chaos Bikers! Rum, 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 rum. Does it strike fear in your heart? Yes? That sound effect did. <laughs> We're gonna shoot ya! Threes to hit. It's not bad. Wounding on threes. That's not a bad roll. That's every <laughs> single one. Ten wounds. Arcavius is out front. He's gonna look out, sir. Next up is Levetto for a two up save. Got 10 lookout stairs here. Oh, he made them all. So none of them hit Arcavius. Now on Levetto, two up save, rolling four at a time because he's got four wounds. And that's four saves so far. Next four. Oh, he takes a wound. Feel no pain. Feel no pain. Four up. He takes a wound. Last two saves. He's fine. <laughs> Six shots, twin link bolters. That's all hits. Wounding on fours. Three wounds. You're gonna look out there from Arcavius. Made them all. On the Beto now. Two up saved. Saving them all. Your turn, Josh. What are you gonna do? Moving up. <laughs> Psychic phase, Levetto is going to throw a warp charge, die. How many does he get? Four plus three is seven. Blood Lance, throw five at it. He made it with two. Deny the witch with four dice, meaning two sixes, getting one. That beam goes through two marines and two bikes. Wounding the marines first on twos. Two wounds. Now wounding the two bikers on twos. Those are wounds. Chink. Four up save. One dies. Now it's time for the shusting facts. Arcavius is infernal pistol hitting on twos. Wounding on twos. My havoc will go to ground. He did. Ugh. Nardo's plasma pistol hitting on twos, wounding on twos. Other havoc, gone to ground on a six up. Nope, he's dead. Ugh. Biker's turn. You're gonna move up. And guess what? The closest one is Gaius. Shooting twin link bolter, hitting on threes. Rerolling the miss. Forest of wound. Nothing. Declaring an assault. Overwatch. 
Guys, his missile launcher first. Oh, that's, that's a hit. for shooting at him. Jink. All right, four plus. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Infernal pistol hitting on a six. Oh my goodness, on a two. That's a wound. Four up, jinx save. Save. Stormbolter on sixes. Nothing. Bolt pistol on six. Nothing. Plasma pistol on a six. Get the tot. Two up save. Save. Charge distance. Yeah, I'm in. <laughs> Hammer of Wrath first on Gaius. Wounding on fours. That's nothing. Three attacks. Rerolling because of veterans. Three hits. Wounding on fours. Two wounds. Gaius. One at a time. This is only two in character. Three up Sorry, save. one wound character. Three up save. Saved and saved. How lucky. Now Arcavius will swing back. Hitting on threes. Rerolling for Zealot. Two hits. Winning on threes. Two wounds. Three up save. Saved. Now Arrow will attack. Hitting on threes. Rerolling for Zealot. Getting one more hit with two hits in total. He is strength six. Wounding on threes. Rerolling for his poison attacks. That's two wounds. Three up save. Fail. Now that there are no more enemy units on this level, your team is free to move up to that eternal flame of chaos fire and squelch it. Who shall do the honors? I will say it's Errol. Give him the glory. Yeah. Two plus. You do it. The dice now fear me. Is that right? Crush them on the end. Look, they fail me again. They didn't fear you last mission. They feared me enough. Oh, I don't think so. I think they did. I video proof. <laughs> Your team notices down the corridor there is a ladder that leads up to the next level. Above that is another rock barricade. What does your team do? Move up. Levetto psychic phase. Rolling for warp charges. Getting four again. Blood Lance with five dice. Needing two. Getting three. Can try to deny the witch with four dice. Nope. Successful. Three to glance. Nada. With two warp charges left, gonna throw them against quickening. Yes, sir. And you make it. Who are you gonna quicken? Uh, let's do Arcavius. D3 to attacks and initiative. Getting three. Shooting phase. Arcavius is infernal pistol hitting out of two. On a three, you do something. Two dice, you're close enough. Yep, that's a pen. Adding two to the results here. Immobilized. It's already immobilized, so that means you have one hull point left. Nardo's plasma pistol hitting out of two. And doing something on a four. That's a glance. It's wrecked, but it auto explodes every time when it's wrecked. How far does it explode? Three inches. That's enough to get three guys. Four is to wound, getting one. Two up save for Levetto being first, and he's a save. As the dust settles, you see three mutilators on the other side. Rolling on Path to Glory to see what unit spawns behind them. 23. 9,000 suns and the sorcerer has Doombolt on this each discipline. How happy are we this day of reckoning? Not that happy. Oh, come on. It's good. Don't you like it? You and your overpowered beams? It's not overpowered. I rolled for it. I got it. Legit. Mutilators are going to move up. 1,000 suns will move up. And they move forward. Thousand Sun Sorcerer now rolling for his psychic phase. He's only mastery level one, so we're gonna add a five to that. So six. Doom Bolt, warp charge one. 
Look at that. A get one. You're a higher level psyker. You are a psyker. And you have denied the witch on Lovetto. Adamantium will. Adamantium will. Yeah. yeah. Therefore, you are a three plus to deny this with five dice. Technically, eight dice because you are master level three. True. And you made it. Anyway, I only made it with one. Errol has Witch Eater, which means he gets to attack the Psyker with a Strength 6 AP2 hit if he successfully passes his Deny the Witch, which he did. Wounding on a 2. Nice. A wound. 4 up in and save. Made it! Now it is the Schusting Fess. Hitting on 3s. Oh wow. Wounding on 4s. Oh, look at that. Five wounds. Levetto is out front with three wounds left. He's going to tank these. Two up save. Oh, takes a wound. Feel no pain. Four up. Takes a wound. He's down to two wounds. He's saved. Mutilators declaring an assault. Overwatch. Stormbolter and bolt pistol hitting on sixes. Nothing. Infernal pistol hitting on a six. Nothing. Plasma pistol hitting on a six. Nothing. Missile launcher hitting on a six. Nothing. Charge range. Seven. Moving in for the assault. Moving in. Mutilator weapons allow me to choose two of a given weapon. This round I'm choosing chain Power fists. Balls. Chain fists. Next round, I'm not allowed to use the same consecutive weapons, so I'll choose something else. But for this round, it will be chain Power fists. Balls. Chain fists. That means Arcavius and Errol and Gaius move up. Oh, scratch that. Arcavius is quickened, therefore he goes up. This is your one chance, Josh. Hitting on threes. Rerolling for Zealot. You're going to need this here. Two's the wound, with shred. I'm gonna get a one again. Oh, five wounds. Two up Four save. Four ones. Two Here up save. Come. Two up save. Fail it. Oh, one mutilator's dead. Ha 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 ha. Errol's gonna kill another one. Whoa, oh, oh. mm -hmm. Errol's turn next. Hitting on threes. And three hits. Wounding on twos. Wow. F two up safe. Fail two. Fail none. Uh oh. Now Gaius will move in for the assault. One attack. That's a hit. Wounding on a four. That's a wound. Two up save. That's a save. Now it's initiative one. Narno moves in as well as everybody else. I'm forced to hit you. And I get to re-roll because I got veterans. So that's three hits. So there's two mutilators there. I'm gonna roll for the second one now. And re-rolling three for veterans here. Oh, that's four hits. Now these are all going on Levetto because I'm in base contact with him. And you want him dead? I do. So these are twos to wound. Six wounds. Five up in Vault save on him. It did. <laughs> Not even a single one. Rolling on the injury chart. Looking for a five or a six. Getting a five, you're knocked down. Now you get to swing me back. Hit me back. You can swing me too. We are at a dance party. Nardo will go first though. Yeah, let's throw Nardo's attacks, why not? Two attacks, hitting on threes. Rerolling for Zealot. Two hits, wounding on twos. Two wounds. On the first one, it's a five up inbound save. This first one, it's a five up inbound save. Will you, really? <laughs> Power axe now. Hitting on threes. Rerolling the one. Zealot, it's two hits. Wounding on threes. Can you do it? Two wounds. Five up and won't save. 
One more dies. I'm not fearless. You won combat by one. Whoops. I'm fine. And a combat pile in. Next round. Mutilator's gonna use a lightning claws. On your turn, you stand up from being knocked down. Levetto is going to do his psychic phase. Warp charges. Three. Oh, four dice for the quickening. Gotta try to put it on Nardo because I want extra attacks with him. Getting a two. Another witch. You make it. D3 for the quickening. Getting an extra two attacks and two initiative. Not that it matters for Nardo because he got a parfist, but two attacks matters. My mutilator would attack first with his lightning claws, and I'm gonna hit ya. Got two hits. Wooding on fours. I'm in base contact with Arcavius. It's gotta go against him. Rerolling. Two wounds. Four up in save. Made both. Arcavius is gonna attack back. Hitting on threes. Two hits. Wounding on twos. Yeah. One wound. Shred. Yes. Two wounds. Two up save. Made both. Errol will attack. Hitting on threes. Oh, Whoa. one hit. Wounding on a two. With poison, you re-roll the one that you get. Can you get one again? Nope, you wound. Two up save. Saved. E. Wounding on a four. Miss. Now for Nerdo. Hitting on threes. Wounding on twos. Get two ones here. We get one one, two wounds. Gotta make both, otherwise I'm instant killed. Five up in bone save. Oh, he's dead. Consolidate. Three inches. Now it's Thousand Sun's turn. Thousand Sun's moved up. Now for the psychic phase. Warp charges. Five plus one is six. Six dice in the Doom Bolt. Getting three. Eight dice to deny the witch, needing three plus. Oh, what did you get three? Errol now made his psychic, or made his deny the witch, so witch eater, six. Two. What do you got, two? Whoa, oh, no wound. Hi, Jay. Shooting phase. Hitting on threes. Wounding on fours. Four wounds. Levetto's out front, two plus. Getting a one. Getting a one. Not getting a one. That's gonna be embarrassing. Oh, is it? Embarrassing. Tis your turn. Levetto, psychic phase, warp charges. Whoa, that's nine for you and six for me. Seven for me. Unleash rage, warp charge one. For three dice. Oh. I will try to deny that with all my dice. Single six. Oh, that's embarrassing. Next. Uh, throwing two dice to put the quickening up on. Ooh, who do we want it on? Nobody. No, it's not that I want it on nobody. Everybody? Let's put it on to Arcavius. You got it. D3. Only one. Bloodlance, you're gonna hit four guys. Wounding on twos. Warp charge two. Oh, you haven't rolled for it yet? Yeah, I still gotta roll for it. I can just do it if you want. No, you'll, you'll fail. No, oh, that's pass. Yeah, that is pass. Wounding on twos. Four wounds. Four pinball save. Oh my goodness. <laughs> What are you doing now? Um, I don't want to potentially not get the charge off, so I'm just going to charge you. I don't need to shoot you. Reroll charge range. No. no. But you can. No. Only yeah. for the jump pack, guys. Doesn't matter. What are you doing? Charge. Charging. Why would you do that? Charging. I can't overwatch. I'm slow and purposeful. Four inch charge. It's a four inch. And you would have had to reroll because you probably would have killed the guy in the shooting phase. You would have needed five inches. 
just for fun. Let's show people what you would have gotten. We roll the whole thing? Yeah. Oh. You would have made it. I don't trust it. And they go in for the assault. Levetta will issue a challenge. Except I'm a champion of chaos. Piling in. Piled in Arcabius. Arcabius gets a lot of attacks here. Not only is he psychically quickened, he has rage. He does. He's a rage monster. Get him. And threes. Rerolling misses. Good thing you got these rerolls. You miss with over half. Oh boy. Winning on twos. Rerolling because of shred. Reroll one die. And you're going to make it. Three up save. Ah! Four die. That's just four, except for the champion. <laughs> oh. Air roll is next. Five attacks, sitting on threes, rerolling for Zealot. And for the reroll, you get. Ooh. Wow. Winning on twos, rerolling, not needing it. Three up save. Oh, three up save. Ooh. Oh, I got it. Gaius will attack. Ready? Hang on threes. Reroll. Mm -hmm. Nope. Wounding on threes. Ah. Now my Chaos Champion will go. He hits on fours. Rerolling because of veterans. Three hits. Wounding on fours. Two wounds. Two up save and Levito. Saved. The Vito hitting back with the power axe, hitting on threes. Rerolling for Zealot. Four hits. Two's to wound because of your furious charge. And uh, he does have shred. So three wounds. Rolling for a four up and bone save. Dead. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. Show you a power nap. <laughs> now that you have no more enemies on this level, you're free to go ahead and try to deactivate the eternal flame of chaos fire. Who's doing the honors? Um, it'll be Arcavius. Again? Well, it wasn't him last, it was the arrow last time. A five second memory, I don't remember. It's true. On a two up, you're successful. On a one, <laughs> chaos is happy. Oh, look at the level above. You see some rock barricades. What are you going to do? Same thing. Moving up. Let's keep going. Are you sure? Yeah. You see, there's death ahead of you. I, Why would you want to walk into it? I Because I've walked into death before. And you I stared in the face? I thought you were going to kill me. And, and what did you say to death? I laughed at it. <laughs> oh, uh -huh. laugh at uh -huh. you. Everyone's up. Psychic phase? Psychic phase. Oh. Perils. I, I can feel it. It's going to come. No. Oh, yes. No. Warp charges. How many do you get? Two plus three is five. Three. Three dice into Bloodlands. Oh. I don't get it. Quickening. Two dice. Two dice. I'm going to put it on to... I'm thinking Arcavius. You like him. I kind of do. Warp Charge 1. Nope. Oh. Schusting Fex. Arcavius is Infernal Pistol hitting on a 2. Getting a 2. And you need a 3. With two dice. And you get a pen. And you add two to the result. And what so happens? You blow it up? You blow it up? Nope. You destroy its non existent weapon, though. Nardo's plasma pistol hitting on a two. Getting hot. Nope. And needing a four to glance. At the glance. Gaius on a six, because he moved him. Snap shoot! Whoa! Oh. Needing a three. An e. Oh. oh. Atta boy. Atta That's boy. Gaius. That's Gaius. Gaius, man, come on, do something. If only he was as good as Errol in close combat. Or anybody else at anything. <laughs> at anything. Errol's gonna throw a crack grenade, hitting on a three, that's a hit. And on a five, he glance, and that's not. No. Assault phase, and here it is. Arcavius, hitting on threes, actually it's immobilized. Yeah, it's auto hit. It's auto hit. So strength 7 versus 11. There you go. Shall be 4s. One glance. It's wrecked. 
Auto explode when it's wrecked though. How many inches? That gets everybody. Four is the wound. Two wounds. Into Nardo. I'll put them on Nardo. Two up safe. Oh. Feel the pain. Oh yeah. <laughs> As the dust settles, you see three Nurgle obliterators. Your heart stops for a moment to realize that this could be your ending. Let's see what we get. Three and a one. Five chosen. Four with Meltas. The champion has what? lightning claws. Why Meltas? What, what? There could have been anything. There could have been plasmas. We you, could change it to plasmas. Do you, you want plasmas instead? Maybe. Really? How about flamers? You want all four flamers? Combi bolters. That would be scary. You know what? The guys have never shot into combat yet. That's true. Because of the way the turns have gone. So do you want them to shoot into combat? Uh, I really want them to. Yeah, that might be interesting. Yeah, just survive long enough. Mm. I'm talking to my own guys. You've always killed my guys out of combat before I've had a chance to shoot at you. In combat. See, now it's my turn, and I get to shoot at you with my obliterator weapons. I'm very excited for this. You ready for it? Oui, oui. Oui, oui? Oui, oui. You speaking to French? Uh, not very well. <laughs> my obliterators are going to move up. Here they are. Hey Josh, take a look at my Black Legion template. You like it? That's gonna look so cool when it scatters off. It's gonna look so cool when it's direct hit. I'll be hitting four guys with a direct hit. Rolling to get taught. He's good. Rolling to get taught. He's good. Rolling to get taught. He's good. For the first one. Oh. <laughs> it goes on to myself, maybe. And that does indeed go back five inches and it covers everyone. Good shot. <laughs> you, you, you're worse than Gaius is. Is he? <laughs> Gaius hasn't hit his own team yet. Next shot. Next. Oh, come on. Well, that's going to go into the wall and it's going to get you still. It'll hit one guy, though. And for the last one, direct hit. Come on. There you go. Direct hit. Five hits in total. Two's to wound. Oh, three ones. <clears throat> Arcavius up front, four up, invuln save. Fail. Feel the pain, four up. Fail. Wounding the obliterators. That's three wounds. But good thing they're Nurgle. Not that it matters, only strike seven. Five up, invuln save. <laughs> one dies. <laughs> And one dies. And now it's time for the Melthus to shoot. Hitting on three. Oh my goodness. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Hitting on twos. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> well, I'm glad oh, you, you're enjoying this. That's great. It, it's a good game. <laughs> time for the assault. Missile launcher hitting on a six. Infernal pistol hitting on a six. Nope. Plasma pistol hitting on a six. Yep. Nope. Wounding on a two. Getting a one. <laughs> Dang it. Bolt weapons hitting on sixes. Nothing. Rolling to assault six inches. Moving in. <laughs> Autocovius hitting on threes. Rerolling for Zealot. Good thing too, you'll get one more of these. Strength six, tough to five, wounding on threes. Look at that. You do have shred. You'll get one of these. Stop that. <laughs> Two up save on the obliterator. That's a save. Errol will move in for the assault, hitting on threes. Three rolling oh. for zealots. You are lucky. You get that zealot. Oh, okay. Errol. Strength six, tough to five, wounding on threes with oh. poisoned, re rolling. Oh, oh, one wound. Two up save. Oh! oh! Down to one wound for him. Gaius! Hitting on threes. Rerolling, sell it. That's a hit. Wounding on a four. Nope, wounding five. on a five. Miss. Initiative one now. So, one obliterator is gonna attack Arcavius. One obliterator is gonna attack Levero. The first obliterator attacking Arcavius. Hitting on fours, that is that, and wounding on twos, because he got a power fist. You ready for it? 
Oh my goodness! <laughs> Come on! Four up and bone save. Oh. Now for the second obliterator, attacking Levetto. Could you not? Force to hit. Rerolling two dice. That's more like it. Three hits. Two's the wound. There we go. Three wounds. Five up, invuln save. Oh, one goes through. But he has one wound anyway. That means he's knocked down. Or possibly something yeah, else. Injury chart. Rolling on the injury chart. What happens? Oh. Stunned. Face down. Swinging back with Levetto. Before he gets knocked down, he on threes. Yes, him. Wounding on fours. With shred. Ugh. One. Five up, invuln save. Nardo's gonna swing now with his attacks. He's gonna get two hits and wounding on twos. He's gonna get two wounds. Five up in one save. Oh, that's the last obliterator. <laughs> it is your turn, Josh, and I will say this. You are very lucky that it's your turn because you get to flip over Levetto. <sighs> what happened? Arcavius will shoot his infernal pistol hitting on a two, getting a one. Nope. Winning on a two, going to ground. Never mind. I want to overwatch. I'm going to take the wound. Plus a pistol hitting on a two. Wounding on a two. Both pistols. Nope. And wounding on fours. That's a wound. I will save this. Yep. Rolling for leadership. Fail! How far do I run? Seven! And Zezea. And Zezea. Nine is charged. I can overwatch. Getting on sixes. Oh! Getting one. Wounding on a two. Wound. Four of Bidmold save on Arcavius. And that's a. Oh, come on. <laughs> Nine inches. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Since I'm running away, I gotta run, roll for leadership. If I fail. You gotta run me over, but I don't fail. Ha! Nardo is issuing challenge, and I will accept with the Chaos Champion. Champion attacks first. Veterans. Well, I guess that's four hits. <laughs> that's how that works. Three hits. Now to wound, I need fours. And that's four wounds. Four wounds getting three ones. What are you doing? It's only three wounds. I thought you just said there was four. No, I just well, added one on past joke. Anyways. Okay, so you're good. <laughs> and in case you can't tell if we're joking, we should not have rolled four dice. It should have only been three. Now for my chosen. Should have actually piled in already, but there they are. Gaius is being attacked by the chosen. Here's the first one here. Rerolling for veterans. That's two hits. Now, forced to wound. Nothing. Now for the other chosen, against Arcavia. Hitting on fours. Rerolling. That's one hit. And wounding on a four. That's a wound. Three up save. Fail. Never mind. Roll six. Arcavia! Three set. Oh. So. Toast to wound. Shred. Oh, okay, it's still one. Three up saves. One dies. <laughs> Arrow attacks, hitting on threes. Okay, rerolling the one for Zealot. Four hits. Winning on twos, rerolling for poisoned. Four wounds. Three up save. One more dies. Gaius! Two hits. Wounding up threes because of. Kill him. Whoa. Three up save. Nice. Nardo, power fist, hitting on threes. 
We're rolling for Zealot. Rooting on twos. Oh. Now that there are no more enemy units on this level, who will deactivate the eternal flame of chaotic fire? I might let Levetto stand up and catch up and do it. Oh yeah. Now it's time to let everybody in. On a 2+, plus, you squelch the fire, and you do. <laughs> you notice up above, there's another rock barricade. Looks Let's like... Go for it. You're up now, psychic phase. Yes, him. Ooh. Beam! How many dice? Uh, throw five dice. Warp charge two. Past. It's a beam. 3D lance. Pen. Adding two to the result. AP1. Oh. Never has it done anything. It does hull point once in a while. Other than hull point. Casting the quickening on who? Uh, let's throw it in our copies. Again. Yeah. How many dice? Two dice. Warp charge one. Made it. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. D3. Nice. Unleash Rage. Warp Charge 1, 1 nice. 4 up. Nope. nope. Now for Infernal Pistol from Mark Gavias. Hitting on a 3. 2, but I rolled a 1 anyways. Yeah, that is correct. Nardo's Plasma Pistol hitting on a 2. Doing something on a 4. Nope. <laughs> Charging. 3 inches away. Getting an 8. Corn wants it. Arcavius. Seven attacks. Auto hits. Looking for fours. Getting fours. How far does it explode? An inch. That's enough to hit everybody. Fours to wound. One wound. Who's that save on? That doesn't matter. As the dust settles, you notice something a little bit odd. You see two more eternal flames of chaotic fire, and you see two loot crates. Which will you resolve first? Loot crates. I thought so. Arcavius and Arrow will each take a loot crate. Rolling for Arcavius. Two up. He's All right, get and one for up Arrow, he gets one as well. Copy is first, first die, two, second die, three. <gasps> Whew, plus one attack. You are lucky. You are almost turned into a spawn. Not that it matters, because we ignore it anyway, but it just would have been funny. Now for Errol. Six. Oh. Six. We just mentioned that we ignore that anyway. But that is downgraded to multiple rewards, so you get D3 plus one times on the table. It's going to be... Wow. So you get four more times. Hey. First one. Six and six. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Then roll a d3 again. Is this what we're going to do? That's what it is. Okay. So you get another three times. You get seven? You got six more rolls. That's incredible, man. It's incredible. Because it's arrow. Oh my goodness. There you go, six and one. That's stubborn. Five more rolls. Three and five. Our save improves by one. Cause he needed it so much. He actually did. Four more rolls. Four, one. Witch Eater, he already had it. He did. Three more rolls. Two, two. Spawn Hood. You ignore that. Yeah. Two more rolls. Six. Three. Feel no pain. So he's going to three up, feel no pain now? It's a three up. For this uh, campaign, we are treating it as improving the feel no pain. So he was at four, now he's at three. Incredible. So. Last one. Oh, oh that's nothing. nothing. 
So what do you think about that? Pretty good. It's not bad. Yeah, three of feeling pain and two of save. You got lucky dice rolls. Hopefully that luck will pass on to what's going to happen next. Hopefully. Two eternal flames of chaotic fire. Going to put them out? Who's going to put them out? Why'd you put emphasis on it like that? Gaius. Okay. So Gaius is going to put them both out, huh? Sure. Okay. He's got this. All right. You roll both at the same time? Sure. Don't get a one. Oh, you're lucky. See? That a boy, guys. And as the flames of eternal chaos are quenched, Omnius, champion of oblivion, appears beside you. Gaius, what have you done? You shall not escape my wrath. Omnius and his retinue of mutilators move towards you. He fires his commie bolter. Hitting on twos. Wounding on fours. One wound. Gaius is closest. Is he taking it? He is. All right. Are you sure? I'm sure. I'm sure. Three up save. Oh, lucky. Declaring an assault. Overwatch. Miss launcher first. From Gaius. From Gaius. Hitting on a six. Oh. Oh. Wounding on a two, but getting a one. <laughs> you want to look out, sir? Pass. Now, five up. It won't save on a mutilator. Oh, one of them dies. They have a two-up armor save? False alarm. He's got a flesh metal two-up armor save. Arcavia sends infernal pistol hitting on a six. Nope. Plaza pistol. Nardos. Hitting on a six. Nope. Bolters. On sixes. Nothing. Rolling for charge range. Eight inches. Corn wants it. Are you ready for it? It's gonna happen. Omnia's champion of oblivion is issuing a challenge. Okay, I will accept with Arcavius. Okay. Who's accepting? Uh, Levetto is going to be the one to accept. Oh, really? You think his force weapon will save him? Maybe if I get forced from done. As Levetto walks up, he notices something very disturbing. He notices an artifact that he has seen before. One that has haunted his dreams. It's the Black Mace. Oh, dangerous. Just as a refresher, these are the Black Mace stats. Strength user AP4. It's cursed. Demon weapon, Fleshbane. The curse special rule states this. If a model suffers an unsaved wound, it must immediately take a toughness test. If it fails, it is removed without any saves of any kind allowed. Also, at the end of the phase, any models within three inches, enemy models within three inches of him that have not suffered an unsaved wound must also take a toughness test. If they fail, they are removed with no saves of any kind allowed. It's the curse of the Black Maze. Eh. Whoa! Oh, be fine. tempting the dice gods, fine. are we? I'm choosing to attack with uh, a chain fist with my mutilators, so they're yep. going to go last. But I go first because my initiative is five. I'm my Chaos Lord. I'm rolling for the Black Mace. It's a demon weapon. Let's see how many extra attacks we get. Two. Hitting on fours because you're actually plus one because of the Blood Chalice. So, getting to re-roll because of veterans. Excellent roll. So it's five hits. Black Mace is Fleshbane, wounding you on twos. Four wounds. Two up save. Got some ones. Oh. Now everyone's gonna move in for the assault. Who's next? Oh, uh, let's do Arcavius. Arcavius, hitting on threes. Oh, wounding on two. Oh, two up, flesh metal save. Oh, come on. <laughs> there we go. You think you're lucky now. You think you're lucky. Go! Arrow will swing. Technically, Arcavius gets one more attack because you have plus one attack from the recent loot crate. One more hitting on three. Mm -hmm. Wounding on two. And a two up flesh metal. There you go. Rolling for arrow. Hitting on threes. All hits. 
Oh, we only got twos. With a reroll? Because of poison. Three wounds. Two up flesh metal save. What the heck? <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> That's another dead mutilator. Fish. Gaius now going to attack. Hitting on three. Wounding on four. No. Attaboy, Gaius. Initiative step one. This is where Nardo, Levetto, and the mutilator get to go. Rolling for the mutilator. Hitting on fours. Rerolling for veterans. Three hits. Wounding on twos. Wow. Wow. It is, this is awesome. Is it? Well, because your dice rolled so well for so long. Uh huh. <laughs> yes. You're laughing, but oh, it's funny. You know, guys is gonna die. Uh, he he's fine. He's gonna take one injury roll. Injury roll for Gaius. What you gonna get, Josh? There it oh. is. He's out of the game. Ugh. Nardo's turn. Hitting on threes. Yes. Winning on twos. This is for the mutilator. So. It is. Five up, in bone save. Oh, mm. second one. Okay, he's dead. And now we're going for this. You ready for it? Levetto swinging. Levetto, go ahead. He's hitting on fours with a reroll. Mm -hmm. This is Zealot. And winning on a three. With Shred. Come on, get him. Missed again. Oh. You won, but I'm fearless, so you pile in. <laughs> on your turn, Josh, you're going to roll for the psychic phase for Levetto. Let's see how many war treasures I get. More than enough, I'll have six. Quickening. Go for the quickening first. Uh, we'll throw that onto Levetto. Warp charge one and I get it. And deny it. Nope. D3 initiative and attacks. An extra one. Then try to see if I can activate force. Warp charge one. Nope. Oh no. Now it is Omnius. He is going to roll for his demon weapon attacks. <laughs> At least I don't get wounded. That's what you get, you traitor. Oh! Oh, is that right? Mm -hmm. oh. The chaos gods have betrayed you. <laughs> oh, is that right? Mm -hmm. But I still hit you first! I'm Black Legion, therefore I get to reroll my failed hits in all round of combat. Because he's Black Legion, and we are using those rules. I'm not just saying that because I'm losing. <laughs> well, you, you, you ain't come back from this. You'll be fine. Hitting on fives. Hitting on fives. We get to reroll two. Yes, I do. Didn't matter. Flash pain. <laughs> Arcavius. Arcavius hits on threes. Everything hit. Wounds on twos with shred. Two up save. Yeah, that's helped. There you go. Arrow now. Hitting on threes. Wounding on twos. Saves. Levetta with his power axe. Uh, three attacks, hitting on threes. Mm-hmm. Wound you on threes. And he's got shred. Four up because he's got a sigil. He takes the wound. Well, last but not least, Nardo. So you can finish this. Nope. Hitting on threes. Misses. Wounding on twos. Four up sigil. Rolling one at a time. Come on. Die. Ah. Ah. And as he dies, ah! 
The ascension of madness begins! Oh, oh no. Stay tuned, Vault members, for our final level. The final battle. What will be in store for them? Ooh, we don't know. All we know is that there is one demon prince. Just one. That they see. And it's in the dark. What do you mean that they see? It's in the dark. They see him. That's all they see. They don't know what else is there. What do you think, Josh? What do you think? I don't know. Demon Prince is terrifying me. Why? <laughs> because they got crazy initiative. They do. And they attack at AP2? Yeah. Is that why? Kind of the bane of my existence. A little bit? AP2 at initiative is pretty scary for my team, actually. That is. Your team starts to come to, and what do they see? What? More? How can there be more? How is this possible? One per Chaos Lord. Uh -huh. It seems as though they didn't actually die. They ascended. Should have seen this coming. You should have? Probably should have. I think maybe. Maybe there was a hint? I don't know. Perhaps. Vault members, click on the link below to see our next matchup. It will be the final battle in the Ascension of Badness narrative campaign, the side scroller campaign. Will this team of Blood Angels defeat this team of Demon Princes throughout the last mission, which will be perpetual night fighting? It will be in the dark. It will be scary. And for this last mission, we're implementing a custom rule. Every guy loses, and they shall know no fear. Ooh. They will be afraid of the dark. Just as a special mission rule. Before we do that though, we need to resolve Gaius because he died during this mission. Special injury chart. What do you roll, Josh? Get a one. Oh. He's fine. You did fight a Lord, so therefore you're gonna get D3 upgrade points. You wanna see it? See what you get? Yeah, let's do it. What you got? <laughs> oh. Gaius now has two wounds. He is equipped with a last cannon. Those are his upgrades. Are you happy? It's pretty good. It's better than nothing. EP2 is pretty good. Better than nothing. Again, Vault members, click on the link below to watch this final battle. If you're not a Vault member, we invite you to click on that link and sign up for a seven day free trial to the Mini Wargaming Vault so that you'll gain instant access to the last mission in this narrative campaign, The Ascension of Madness, to see if Josh and his team of Blood Angels can defeat the demon princes who have ascended into madness. See you in there.